Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 10.40 a.m. on this happy Tuesday, October 5th. Now for today's news. A grand museum has opened up here on Madagascar. Did you hear about it yet? Oh yes, it's a grand museum indeed, with separate exhibit rooms for insects, fish, and fossils. Blathers, the museum curator, curator? says he's always available to accept donations or assess fossils. And museum admission is free, so stop by whenever you like. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterwards. We'd like as many folk as possible to take part, so please stop by resident services if you're interested. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Well, hello there. <laughs> Long time no see. Um, I am back playing Animal Crossing. I remember the cough I had. Um, that turned into like a 12 day battle with bronchitis. It was ridiculous. I actually, I used to get strep throat a lot when I was um, younger before I got my tonsils out. And I've never been that ill for that long. It was actually insane. It was 12 days of not really sleeping because I was coughing all night. And you, you get that like sore feeling in your, you know, in your abdomen that's like, I've been coughing for, you know, 10 hours a day and I'm getting an ab workout from it. So my stomach's sore and <laughs> it was awful. It was terrible. So it's not actually the 5th of October. It's the 15th of October. Um, and I just went back in time so that I have a bit more, a bit more time to play. Um, but yeah, so that, that's me. I've been ill for about 12 days and Yesterday I was feeling a lot better, and today I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. I've still got a bit of a cough, and I'm coughing up a bit of blood, but... <laughs> sorry, probably too much information. But, uh, we are back at Animal Crossing. We are back on Dadagascar, my, um, second island. And, ah, uh, yes, I ordered a bunch of things. I forgot about this. So, Gulliver was there, um, so I helped him out. I ordered some stuff from the, um... The ATM, like the Nook Stop machine. Uh, ooh, I'm a rank B now. Uh, and as you can see, I got a couple items from Nook's Cranny that day, as well as built myself a little crafting table. Um, I really like this color variant for the director's chair. I think it's super cute. And then look, I didn't know that the crickets came in little wooden crates. Um, so I caught a cricket and set him outside and was like, what? I need to use those as decorations. So here's this little guy here. His name is Rupert. I hope you all enjoy him. Um, <laughs> I just kept catching crickets because I kept doing the little uh, Nook Miles Plus things to try to get me some miles. And as you can see, I've made some good headway because I'm at like 11,000 now. So I think I got like a good 8,000 miles just that day. And here's Flip. I actually remember them now. We have Flip and Tammy. And can I just say, Tammy's house is adorable and I love it. I think the yellow is really pretty. Ooh, Sahara's here. That's exciting. We have to have a little celebration for the museum, which is exciting. Um, and you can see I did that early game thing where you put a bunch of, you know, of your new catches outside the museum so that you can donate them once it's open. Um, so here they all are. Uh, I actually think the fish in this game and the bugs and their little uh, carriers tried to create a new word between carrier and crate there. Um, but I think they're really cute. Especially the little sardine in his little tiny tank. And the little jewel bug in his little carrier with a little strap. So cute! Um, uh, you can see I was successful at catching a wasp. So I hope you're proud of me. Um, alright, let's open up some of the things I bought myself. Because I think it's time for a new outfit. Plasma ball. Oh, this must be from Gulliver. Oops, that is... Not what I meant to do. Right. Okay. Every 90s kid's dream. Everyone wanted to have one of those. I never did. I was very jealous of people who did. Um, a garden faucet. And I'm super stoked about this color variant as well. 
Um, I think I got really lucky with some of my items so far, and I'm excited to keep seeing what I can get. I'm just gonna place this here because I feel like I feel like that's a suitable place for a faucet. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get, you know, a little bit of decoration going, because my island feels quite bare right now. Um anyways, I got these cute little green rain boots that matched the misty tea that was um for sale that day. So that's really cute. And then also a tie-dye shirt, which is one of my favorite items. So I think I'm gonna keep the tie-dye shirt on because I think it suits my character's vibe. <laughs> um, so I will go put the other things away because inventory space is critical right now. Oh, and I got this. Um, I can't remember if it was for sale or if someone gave it to me. Um, feel like I kind of blacked out when I was <laughs> ill for like 10 days. Um, but yeah, this can, this can live here. That's fine. Hopefully we'll get a little end table for it soon. Um, and then I'm just going to store my clothes for now. And yeah, cool. Let's go have a ceremony for the museum. Oh, if you're wondering about my progress with getting the shop built, I think I need three more pieces of iron, and that's it. Because I remember the day I went and collected materials. I got two rocks that were all clay, apart from one, and one of them was a gold nugget, which it's funny because normally you're like, oh yay, gold, don't get that very often, but I was like, I need iron, so I was frustrated about that. And then the other one was all clay and one stone, and I was like, oh my gosh, my luck is not very good right now. Um, we'll go ahead and claim that, and let's hold a little museum ceremony. Hello, hello. I would like to hold a ceremony. Yes. I am interested. I wonder if you can never do them and, like, save them all up and just do all your ceremonies at once, once you've got, you know, everything on your island sorted. Oh, they moved all my fish and bugs! That's weird. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Dadagascar's brand new museum. My character's so cute! Thank you. Oh no, I have low battery! Dadagascar truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone, really. And now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers, who will be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours. Residents of Dadagascar, once again I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I'm overwhelmed, indeed overjoyed, by the marvelous establishment we're opening here today. Pooh, this could not have been done without you and your considerable cooperation. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum, brimming with wonder. I say, I do hope you'll continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. Cute. Very cute. Thank you for that rousing speech, Blathers. Let's have a few words from someone whose contributions made the museum possible. It's Daddy Asgar's own Billy. Anything to add? Woo! <laughs> Indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. I know I'm going to take a photo. Don't you worry about it. Yay! Cute. <laughs> I feel like I had more villagers last time I did this, but maybe not. Okay, well, apparently I'm fighting the clock because I have low battery for my controller. Um, I kind of want to leave this stuff here. I think it's so cute, and I think their little containers are adorable. Um, I should move them, though. Because it's not sightly. I don't know. We'll see. I might leave it for now because I'm in no hurry to donate a bunch of stuff to the museum. But let me see. I, I can't remember if it looks any different. This one versus the one with the art. Oh, okay. It's pretty much the same. Except it's missing this art bit up here. And Brewster's coming soon. I'm so excited. Okay. So it's the same. Cool beans. I'm just gonna leave because we all know what the museum looks like. 
Okay, I'm going to get my shovel out and try and get me some iron. Because we need that iron to build the shop. And it would be really nice to have the shop for next time. I think once you build the shop, you can start... Like, villager hunting? Is that when you start building the houses? Um, I'm not actually sure. I hope so. Um, because it is time to start looking for our dads and our frat boys <laughs> of Dadagascar. Um, and Srat Stars. I'm hoping to get some, um, some girls in there as well. Alright, so I, th I think I only need one more iron. Could be wrong, though. Really don't know. Alright. I really should have checked my home storage while I was dropping off clothes. I guess I should- I should probably- I was gonna say bang all my rocks, but I can't really say that. Um, what do you say? Like, uh, hit? Hit all my rocks? <laughs> um, I need to do that every day for a while anyways, because uh, resources are going to be tight for a while. I feel like I'm so out of practice recording that all I really do is ramble and don't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, my opening speech about how ill I was. Like, did that even make sense? Did I even form full sentences? Who knows? Hard to say. Um, I think I have enough to- Excuse me. I think I have enough to build the shop. Oh, what have I done wrong? I've done something wrong. Okay, that's what I've done wrong. Um, I just rewatched Demon Slayer because um, I think the second season is going to be released soon. So I was like, I need to freshen up my memory. And oh my goodness, that anime is so fantastic. Highly recommend um, if you're okay with a bit of violence. It's definitely not like Akira level violent, but... Um, it is quite violent, but it's really good, and the character development is fantastic, and I love it. So, if you've not watched Demon Slayer yet, you should. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mom has watched it, though, so I don't really know why I'm making this recommendation. <laughs> but I'm really excited for the second season to be released. Um, yeah. Oh! Don't worry, bud. Don't worry, bud. It's all right. <laughs> all right, we've got our Orchid Mantis, which is nice. I remember on Fika, I had so many white flowers that those guys were just everywhere constantly. Um, and I've not seen one yet, so that's nice. Also, it's October, so I think the Orchid Mantis stops showing up soon, if I'm not mistaken. Come on! <laughs> Don't know why that was so difficult. Um, I'm at the point in the game where, like, every day in the game, I really should be doing stuff like chopping wood for all the trees and, you know, banging on all the rocks and, <laughs> and stuff like that, but it's so tedious that it's hard to... I mean, it's not hard to do, but it's annoying, I suppose. Um, I think that flimsy shovel breaking is a sign that I should probably go check my iron stores and try to get that shop built. Also, today we can check Nook's Cranny um, and the ATM, or the, um, pardon me, I keep hitting my desk with the chair, which is probably making a really annoying noise for you, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, look for some more clothes, cause... Ooh, okay, I needed six more. So that's perfect. Perfect. Um, I also need to check the ATM or the Nook Stop for, uh... Like, I need the tool ring. I need the tool band thing. Cause I keep... Um, despite how often I press the wrong button, I keep trying to press... Um, the up button for my tools and it's not showing up and it's stressing me out. Uh, so I think I'm going to buy that just now as well. 
I have a massive presentation today at uh, 1 p.m. It is currently 10.55. Uh, I'm a little bit... I'm a little stressed about it. Um, it's supposed to be under 10 minutes, and I'm finding it really difficult to keep the presentation under 10 minutes. Um, and we've been told that they are gonna flat out stop us at 10 minutes, so... I think after I record, I'm gonna go try and make my information a bit more succinct. Also, um, there's like question and answer afterwards. And I'm a big believer in baiting questions. So if you leave something out um, that's a bit obvious, it can sometimes bait your professors to ask you <laughs> questions you already know the answer to. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's cheating. No, it's not cheating. I think it's being smart. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna have to take out some information so that, um, I don't know why I did that. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so that I can keep my presentation under 10 minutes. Okay, tool ring. That's what I want. I knew it was called a tool ring. Okay, that's impressive for me. <laughs> um, I also need to find a place for the shop. Is that right? I think. Yes, this does totally make sense. I know, I just literally just explained I keep pressing the up button. Um, let's go shopping and see if there's anything interesting. Ooh, a magazine is good to have um, for your, like, uh, like DIYs and stuff. Um, I don't want those. Don't want those. All right. KK Ska, that's Jack's favorite. Um, okay. Let me just see if there's anything else I'd want from the Nook Miles shop right now. Ooh, this gives me more pocket space. Mm. I think that Miles and Nook Miles tickets are going to be a bit more, um, how do you say, like, uh, useful right now than pocket space. Like, do you really need that much pocket space? It's annoying. Don't get me wrong. It's plenty annoying, but you don't need it. And it's really hard to get Nook Miles tickets early on in the game, so I think I'm gonna hold on to those miles. Um, It's funny, I think I put my... No, I didn't put my museum in a similar place on Fika. I think I put it over where I put my house. Yeah, this this is where I put the museum on Fika. It was over here. Um, anyways, I need to find a spot for the shop. Um, I'm thinking on the other side of the river. Even though I know I, I obviously don't have um, a bridge or anything right now. But I also, I could, I just don't know. I could put it like here and then have this little peninsula be something else, possibly. Like right here and there's a cute little pond. But then the other side of the island is super, super barren. So I don't, I don't know. I can always- I can obviously move stuff afterwards. Um, let's go ahead and favorite these. I like to have this at the top because I use it so often. Come on. Oh, why are we struggling? Is that really too wide? Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm thinking, see, does it fit in this little nook? Get it? <laughs> oh, no, it definitely does not. That's unfortunate. No, that is too much space. What about oh, this nook? Hmm. I'm thinking, like, up against the cliff. 
Let me imagine it. Uh, maybe one over to the right. Oh, I did two over on accident. No, just read my mind. Come on. <laughs> Here. Okay, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> um, where am I on the map? So, I'm up there. I've got this whole bit on the other side as well. Ha. Huh. Actually, I think I think this would be a good place for the shop because I'm thinking where my house is right now is going to be like a Greek row for the boys and then <laughs> across the river is going to be like Greek row for the girls and it's going to be um like quite I don't know. I'm having a really hard time articulating my thoughts right now, if you can't tell. But I think this is a good place for the shop. I'm just really quickly going to uh, strip this <laughs> place of all of its resources. Oh, well, psych. No, I'm not. That's all right. <laughs> uh, I don't really need one more tree's worth of wood. Um, and I'm too lazy to go build a... Oh no! That was a little crap. That's all right. Um, I'm gonna steal the weeds as well. It's nice to have those for, you know, hay beds and stuff. Um, I'm definitely gonna have one of the houses on Greek Row be like the ag frat. Um, I need to find someone whose house suits that as well. Ooh, maybe I should move the museum as well to be sort of like a no! Stop telling me about battery. It's alright! Don't worry. Don't think about it. Controller, everything is fine. I am far too caffeinated, she says as she continues to drink her coffee. Here. Whoa! Was that it? I think that was it. And then we can have a little shopping district over here. Yes. This is the spot. I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot of terraforming on this island. Um, I think I did enough of that on Fika, and Fika's not even done yet. Um, I actually worked on Fika a bit the other day. I really need to jump on there to play so you guys can see, you know, Bones and Bee and all those guys sometime as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good place for the shop. I can hopefully put a little a diagonal bridge over here to be close to the town center. Um, the museum will probably move at some point. Um, and then down here, we can have half of Greek Row. And then up here, we can do a little bridge and then have another half of Greek Row over there. It'll be nice. It'll be like... My theme I'm going for, for those of you who um, may not remember, is like, remember when I did Chief's Yard and I was like, oh, this is dad core. This is a new theme because I think the themes are kind of silly. Um, so I made him look like a, you know, 40 year old dad. So I was like, I'm going to make an island that's a piss take. So I did. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm doing like dad core, frat core, uh, you know, people stuck in high school core. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. Shade. Uh, yeah. Uh, how long have I been recording? Oh, 27 minutes. You guys have probably heard enough of my voice after 27 minutes. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to end it there. In between now and the next recording, I'm going to have the shop built, and I'm probably going to start on some of the new villagers' houses so that the next time I see you, it can be a mini villager hunt. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry for rambling so much. I'm sorry for having such uh, erratic thoughts. Hopefully, I will screw my head on tighter before I record next time. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye! <laughs>